All right, so I'm doing my presentation on golden retrievers. <coughs> this is actually uh, my puppy, Sadie, a Sadie. while ago. Yes. Um, now she's a lot bigger, but I thought that was a cute <laughs> picture. All right, so some facts. Um, they're in the sporting group. They were originally like gun dogs, so they'll go in the water and get their ducks. Um, what it said that I found out was in Scotland that they used them the most back then. Um, they love the water. They actually have an inner coat and an outer coat that repels the water. Um, they need a lot of exercise. Um, they should like crazy. I think I, we sweep like twice a week or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and they're the third popular family dog. And that's her there, and if you can't see, this, there's a little... Yeah, the, the, the cat is almost camouflaged, if you didn't look at it. <laughs> it's a perfect similar. match. Yeah. Is that why you got the cat? Because the color matched the <laughs> no. dog? No, okay. but yeah, it was very nice. Uh, yeah. That's her best friend. Right okay, good. Um, they yeah. are known to be really good assistant dogs for disability, guide, hearing, um, search and rescue, and hunting. Um, just because of how energetic and upbeat they are, they really help with a lot of disabled people and they just are really friendly. So some common health issues that they have. Um, the highest one that I researched was cancer, 61.4% of death. Um, and the one I'm going to, like some pictures I have are hip dysplasia and the cataracts. So here is a normal hip. <coughs> And then you can see here that it's become like detached and then it's like formed some here and it causes a lot of pain. They can't walk very easily and they need a lot of like energy or they have a lot of energy so they have a lot of exercise that they need and so if they have this issue that's just not good for them and they'll probably start gaining weight. And then here down here is another one if you can see this gap right in here that shouldn't be there. Normal on the left, Yes. hip dysplasia on the right. Bilateral too, it looks like. Yeah. And then this are the cataracts. So you see how this is normal. So you see it's all cloudy. And then over here, it's very cloudy and it can, it's very hard for them to see. And then since they are really active, I have a video of some dogs or golden retrievers. Now it's funny they all three did. They must, you know. They know their toys. They know their, uh, yeah, toys. Mm -hmm. So any questions? Okay. Questions on those beautiful golden retrievers. Here we go. Do you know how old they usually are when they start getting cataracts? I did not see. In the research about that. That's a good question. How about old dogs? Do they usually get cataracts with age? You know, a lot of dogs, you know. So I have a feeling sometimes it's when they're young they start getting cloudy and that would be abnormal. But how long, what's the lifespan of these guys? About 10 to 12. Yeah. 10 to 12? That's not long enough. I want, I want <laughs> others to get, uh, you know, I had a Bernie's mountain dog in class yesterday morning. Ooh. And it was a puppy. And the girl that brought it in said, you know the lifespan of these, I asked, six to eight years. That's it? Yeah. That's it. And I know that's true because when I go to dog shows, I love Bernie's mom dogs. Their, their genes are fixed for the color. They're always the same. Not like Australian Shepherd, which is forever in color. I went up to the one guy in the dog show. I go, okay, I love these guys, but I hear that the average lifespan is eight, I said. He goes, well, I think it's 8.5 now. <laughs> it's still too short, you know what I mean? But he was proud that maybe some of them got longer, but I, you know, I had tried. Okay, other questions?